Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show and Hello. full of sense today. It's absolutely chocker blocker rocker. <laughs> Now, a new trad E8 slash E9 is always news, and Alex Mason has sent a new route in Wales. The new route is called Demicide and is at Gogarth in Wales. It combines two established E6s with a section of Sport 7C linking them together. Alex has been working the route for a while, with injuries delaying his first ascent. Now, there's a really good interview with Alex on UKC where he says the difficulties are probably around 8A, but the well-protected nature of the climb mean it doesn't quite warrant the E9 tick. I've got a question. Mm. Who's Alex Mason? Uh, he is a UK climber, sort of like one of those, like, you know, within the trad, UK are trad scene. you going to say the word underground kind of, crusher? I was, go, I was trying to avoid <laughs> that terminology. He, he's well good, but, you know, being that British trad scene, we don't necessarily hear as much from him. But he's a bit gutted because he hasn't done an E9 yet. Mm. So he kind of wanted that to be E9, but just the gear was a little too good to sort of justify that, that, that E9. So it's E8 slash E9. Speaking of E9s, mm. I'm going to sidetrack a tiny little bit here, really quickly. Uh, there's a really good article on Planet Mountain uh, about Charlie Woodburn yes. climbing E9, harder, faster, yeah, better. So to the left of Gaia. Yeah, that one. yeah. looks absolutely Insane. terrifying. Did you watch the video where the guy takes the fall? Yes. Tim <laughs> Emmer is a very good b layer. He is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he is indeed. Uh, if you want to check out a very interesting read, from the legend that is Charlie Woodburn, he's currently working on a Bond movie somewhere in mm -hmm. the somewhere in the we world. We heard on the radio yesterday that Daniel Craig had been injured. Yeah, we you... wondered whether that was linked to Charlie uh, arriving on set. Charlie, let us know. Did you drop a camera on, on Daniel Char Craig? On, on what his happened? Big toe. He's injured his big toe. Is he? Uh, okay. Next up, we got uh, news from Jonathan Segrist, who has been incredibly sending hard in Spain. Jonathan Segrist has been on a sending spree in the south of Spain in Villanueva del Rosario. After sending the 9B route La Planta Shiva 10 days ago, Jonathan took things a bit easier. I'm doing quotation marks with my hands there. Sending Mandanga Total 9A, MD MDA 8C+, La Chispa 8C+, and Bashida de Shiva 8C+. Good job, Jonathan. So he's currently uh, in Cordoba, mm -hmm. seeing the sights. If you want to follow along to his Instagram, he's, he's storing some pretty stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, John Segrist back in action, taking it easy. Do you think he's going to be adding to the 9B counter? He's already he's already on it recently with that uh, Planet to Shiva 9B, so maybe another one. Hopefully. Well, I'm sure he's heard about the 9B counter. Well, we need one person to step. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, next up. Uh, yeah, so more sport climbing news and Steve McClure has put up a new 8C at Malham Cove in the UK. Steve McClure has been putting up new and hard routes at Malham for years, but he still isn't bored of the crag. Steve established a new 8C, which he's named Victor Boss. The line goes all the way to the top of the wall, extending established extensions. A truly monster line. Now, I said uh, extending established extensions because there is a uh, 7A, which is the warm up of Malham. Extending established extensions. Then someone else put a, a boulder problem on the top of that, which is like a 7C. And then there was another extension that went right, uh, put wow. up by uh, Gaz Parry. And right. this new line kind of goes left and it ends all the way up on the, like near the ledge. So if you know Malham at all, you've got drop, catwalk. Right. A huge bit of wall up to the very top uh, little ledge, and this this line goes all the way to that, so it's a bit of a monster. Wow. Yeah. I've never been to Malham. I have only once, and like no, having abseiled down it, I know how long it is. It's so long that route, and just could have wind its way up. So yeah. And to to, to make a first ascent in Malham is pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. It just shows that there is still potential for this because what people do is like they're like, oh, one route, oh, we could extend this, and we could do it again, and then it just carries on. So but is that basically what he's done? He's just like gone right. I'll take that route, I'll put, put it there, and then extend. Kind it there, of. He's that. put a middle bit in, so it links okay. a lot of routes, but there is more hard climbing being added to link those sections together. So overall, it gets that great so okay yeah. cool. nice one steve nice one steve uh next up we've got news from italy planet mountain has reported that francesca medici has made an ascent of her first 8c navida nomada at the covolo crag near trento francesca is currently studying medicine at the university of parma the sport route is short and intense with 17 hard moves and no real rest until a slightly easier finish the entire route overhangs at 40 to 45 degrees and francesca had been trying the route for two days nice one francesca uh very impressive uh route if you want to go and check out what the route looks like go on her instagram um there's some really cool pictures and it does it looks like a really intense it looks kind of like your kind of route yeah, short, bouldery. Yeah, maybe yes. it's a bit longer than yours. You'd <laughs> yeah. have to like work with your I like really bit. short, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There's like 17 hard moves 
and the moves look hard. That's too long. Yeah, it's like a big moon board. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds like my kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, now, British climber Orin Colley. I never, is that how you say his name? Orin Colley, Colley? Coley. Co well, I mean, if you're going for like the, the, the football, the Joe Cole or Ashley True, Coley. You go Coley, but I think it's Coley. I'm just going to call him Orin. Yeah. Orin has put up a new 8B plus in the UK called Limit Breaker. The climb, described by Orin as the hardest he's ever done, is at Forest Rock in the UK. This brutal three to four move problem required Orin to work out precise micro beta in order to send it. It took him 14 sessions and was right at his physical limit. So UKC has a good interview uh, with him on this and there's a cool little video just showing the process, but like it's crazy, 14 sessions for three moves. A micro beta. Yeah, so like because it's so intense, uh, he just had to like like little tiny body adjustments, uh, okay. exactly how he grabbed the hold. Uh, and it was, it's in a cave, it was sort of seeping, the weather was a bit crap. So it sounds like a bit of a battle for Orin, but uh, yeah, nice one, man. Nice one. Uh, so step up from maybe plus two. Well, if he can nail AC, he gets on the AC counter, and it's AC counter Great time. Great segue. So once again, this 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 thing gets bigger. I'd like to call it a behemoth. It's huge, and I'm sure we've missed some things. So if you've noticed that we've missed anything on the nine AC counter, nine B counter, do let us know. People have been requesting that we put this into computer form. Yes. I think that's a great idea. Mm. I know somebody who's really good at spreadsheets. Uh, do you? Yes. It's not me. Uh, I was going to say, he's like sat beside me in a nice gilet. No, I, I never got past equal sum. Remember equal sum You don't brackets. need a man, all you need to do is just manually <laughs> input everything in there. Yeah. I honestly think equal sum brackets is the only thing I learned from like computer IT, I, I, to my I knowledge. I honestly don't even know what that means. You're not? No. I, I will talk about it. People, comment below if you know what equal sum brackets, <laughs> click, plus, click, close brackets, enter means. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> uh, Raichi uh, Muriai has climbed the game at Daniel Woods 8C. It's in Boulder Canyon and it took him uh, two days to send it. He's smashing it. He's on fire. It? Where's his name? Yeah. Where is he? Well, he's only yes, just got one. He's got another one now. Uh, and also Pascal Gagnou. Is it Gagnou? Gagnou. Yeah, Gagnou. He yeah. has done uh, the Big Island and 8C, that classic font fridge hug, uh, slappy physical a fridge. fridge. I love hugger. a fridge. You love a fridge hug. I love a fridge hug. So he gets another point. Nice one, Pascal. Uh, okay, Carlo Traversi has... Carlo Traversi, the legend. Mm. He's a bit of a legend. He's an absolute legend, yeah. yeah. AA.NU has reported that he did it uh, a Jimmy Webb line called The Outer Limits. Uh, Carlo projected the route for two weeks, fell off the last move ten times before oh. eventually sending. So AC? AC plus? AC. AC, one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay, and then Martin Keller. Oh, okay. So there was Martin Keller who has previously done the Story Two Worlds back in February. Whoa, what was his name? He's quite early on. He's there. There he is. Uh, Martin Keller, uh, he has now done Ninja S S Skills Sit Start. Right. Which is an 8C forward slash plus route. Is that the moon video one? Yeah. Cool. So but, wait, 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 wait. I, you didn't hear the, the bit. What do we do? I don't know. Last time we just called it an 8C. I think we call it an 8C. Unless it's, because if he's not going to commit to it. I mean, you've got to, you've got to. It's got to commit to the AC. Well, like we round it down. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> round it down. That's what we've done before. Down. So he gets one Sorry, point. Martin. To be honest, if Martin came on the show and argued for it to be. One We'd point. give him the tick, yeah. yeah. If, he came, if he came here to Chamonix, then yeah. Yeah, cool. absolutely. Uh, Any 9Bs? No. No. <laughs> So a beautiful segue. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so another one. Martin Keller, uh, who is uh, a bit of an underground crusher. Okay. Uh, considering he's done a uh, two eight one eight C and one eight C four slash plus this year. Anyway, he um, has done a video with Moon. Uh, basically, that that boulder problem took him one hundred fifty sessions. Wow. Three years. Wow. Uh, lots of bouldering and snow and cold conditions and hot conditions and anyway, Moon have made a video. We've got it on Epic uh, on EpicTV.com. Here's a little clip. I remember I started to climb at 12 in the night and at 4 a.m. I fell on the like the big ninja move as the upper crocs like just missing it barely that was at 4 a.m. and at 8 a.m. so over eight hours into the session I stick did stick the ninja move from the sit and I fell with my fingertips at the last move. 
Moon are releasing a few because there's that Ben Moon film uh, recently, which is very good. Sport climbing. This yeah, it's also one. on EpicTV.com. It is, yeah, yeah. You might have to scroll down and find it on the video archive, yeah, probably, but it true. is on there. It's on there. Um, talking about Epic TV, uh, shop deals. Now, it's sort of becoming sport climbing season and all the rest. You might need a new harness. It's one of those things occasionally you have to buy. Uh, and if you're going to buy it, why not get 10% off? Is it 10% off all harnesses? 10% off all harnesses uh, using the code HARNESS10. Uh, it's not going to be forever, this deal. So if you want a harness, now is probably the time to snap that up. Uh, my favorite harness, BL Ghost. I was going to say, what harness are you rocking at the love, I'm rocking the BL Ghost, mainly because I've lost my Petzl one. OK, yeah. But I've also, got, I like it. I've got a black diamond. Uh, is it Momentum? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that was my first harness. Mm. I've still got it. That's the Maybe thing, I should get an upgrade. Ask. Maybe you should go fast and light. Like, Petzl Sitter. Yeah, maybe. BL Ghost, it's like, it's availability. Yeah. yeah. I quite like the, it's quite comfortable. It is very comfortable. I, I had it for years, that, it was my, my harness. Yeah. I've still got it somewhere. Oh uh, no, I've got it, it's mine. I you've got, you've nicked my harness? Yeah. Harsh. Uh, I don't know what we're talking uh, about. What's up next? Uh, this weekend, what are you doing this weekend? Well, at, uh, hang on, hang on, podcast, can we talk podcast? Oh, let's talk podcast. Episode three of the podcast should be online by the time you uh, see this. Uh, if not, it will be very soon. It's about how crap we are at climbing. Yeah, it, we, we, we dig around at ourselves for how bad we are at climbing. Yeah. Is that even a phrase? Um, but yeah, so we basically, we talk about how, like you can get to a certain point with climbing and then if you just leave it, if you're like, if you leave it for a couple of weeks, yeah. you go you right back to where you are. Plummet. Went, and it makes you feel like yeah, it does. We also talk about positive stuff and like fear of falling and all yeah. that kind of things. Climbing it's, in front of people. Yeah, everything. Every, it's a good little not, chat. Not everything. Not everything. No, a lot. Yeah. Uh, it should be on Spotify, should be on iTunes. Go and check that out. Uh, there's links in the description. You can find it there. Subscribe uh, yeah. and leave comments because apparently that helps. Can you leave a comment? You can leave a review. Leave a review. review. Yeah, yeah, leave, leave a, review. a review. Good or bad, we don't care. No, it's got to be good. It can be bad or good. No, really not because you know comments can be good or bad and it's still it's, they, need to, they need to be good. They need to be good. Okay, so leave us a, a five star uh, thing or don't leave us anything. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then also subscribe to this channel if you want. Yes, do, please. Because we like it when you do that. And we want to grow yeah. as people. We're growers, not showers, people. <laughs> That's Bye. It. Bye.